The country of Iran is being rocked by protests after a young woman was arrested for not wearing a head covering and then died in police custody. Her death and the backlash are also getting attention all around the world. This group of demonstrators held a candlelight vigil in San Francisco. It's a complicated clash over freedom and cultural expectations. There are reports 22-year-old Masha Amini died from multiple blows to the head. Iranian authorities deny wrongdoing and say she died of a heart attack. Jason Colthorpe has been trying to gather reaction here in Metro Detroit and joins us now from Dearborn Heights. Jason. Good evening, Karen. And uh, the local Iranians here who are looking at what what is happening in their homeland see this a couple different ways. One, it's good that so many people are outraged over the loss of a human life and are coming together to show that. But two, they also feel there are some people involved there that might be trying to turn this situation and use it to their advantage. We Islamically, we believe that the life of one person matters. Part of the prayer service at the Islamic House of Wisdom today is focused on the protests happening in Iran. Imam Mohammed Allahi is Iranian and understands unrest. I don't blame Iranian people or any other nation to protest against, the, against their government, but the protest must be peaceful. He's concerned that outside world leaders may be playing politics here, using this incident to cause chaos in a country where people are feeling the effects of economic sanctions. Most of the university students are women. Uh, the women are in the parliament, the women in the government. Uh, they, they are in every job that we can imagine. The Iranian women are involved. It's not that like there is restriction. Mm -hmm. Even the hijab that is a law is not being practiced in reality. Allah, he believes justice can be done and is hoping time is allowed for just that. I heard that the President Raisi called the family and he said that your daughter is just like my daughter and I promise to complete order the completion of this investigation and if it was a fault of the police they are accountable for uh, for their mistake now what was noticeably absent there in what you just watched was the point of view from an iranian woman uh, of the women that were here at the prayer service today uh, and others we reached out to today both directly and indirectly uh, none wanted to go on camera. Some were simply uncomfortable talking about this publicly, and others, quite frankly, said they were scared to. In Dearborn Heights tonight, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Understandable. All right, thank you, Jason.